when I was in high school, I would go on Saturdays to the Brook Museum Art School, and I would take a drawing class. And I knew that Rufino Tamayo was teaching there, although I didn't take a class with him. One day I took uh, my portfolio and showed it to him, and I said, you know, I, I am Mexican, but I, I've grown up here, but, and someday I'd like to go to Mexico. And he looked at my work and he said, well, when you come, this is my address, come and see me when I graduated. And I had saved $500 uh, over the summers and uh, from my work. And I took a Greyhound bus from New York to Mexico City. It took five days. So I arrived in um, Mexico City and I got a little hotel someplace and I went to see Rufino Tamayo, who was very cordial. And he wrote a note which uh, allowed me to go to the uh, Academia de San Carlos, which was the school where all the great painters went. And I, stud I took courses in fresco painting, the chemistry of painting, uh, drawing, and sculpture. And I, I was able to stay there for about three or four months because my money was running out by then. And I had some relatives in Mexico City, but not much. And I knew I had to get to the Yucatan to meet my grandparents and my uncles. And that's where my both families come from. So, um, but during that time in uh, Mexico City, there were wonderful opportunities to meet people that they really went out of their way to get students to have experiences at the, um, at the theater the dance theater, I, I met Jose Limon and saw his performance. And one of those performances, I went backstage. And there was um, uh, Diego Rivera and his wife. And he's a big man. And he looked down on me. I was introduced to him. And he said, oh, you must come to the house to have some mole. Well, he scared me. I didn't go. 